Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you my new small project called LWC Layout Builder. It is a small tool that helps you design your Salesforce Lightning Web Component layouts with simple configuration. Lightning Layout is a flexible grid system for arranging containers within a page or inside another container. And my tool makes it easy to experiment with different layouts and get the code to use in your projects. Let's dive in and see how it works. To get started, first you need to navigate to the URL that is showing on a screen. Once you open that URL, you will see the output something like this. My tool gives you two options. One is row level configuration. The second is the column level configuration. At column level configuration, you can see we have a add column button. And here this is the output screen where you will see when you play with the configuration the output so currently by default we have given one column you can see the column is there at global column configuration level we can set the column type to be fixed or fluid and we can give some padding around all the column let's add some column to start with so right now there is only one column if i add two columns you see the two boxes are coming on screen and on the left hand side we have two columns a uh, one two three total three columns now and on the right hand side which is our output screen you can see three columns and here is a button to generate a code now i have a scenario where i want to give a padding around these three columns so i'll go to the padding option there are multiple options. I'll say I want to give a small level padding around all the columns. So I'll select around small. You see the padding has come around all the columns. Now I want I don't want this to be of fixed sizes. For that, I'll say okay, I want it to be fluid. And my all columns should take 100% width or basically adjust the width according to the main container. So I say first column, take the flexibility auto it takes the stretch automatically i want second to be take auto and third to be take auto so it automatically adjusts all three columns i want my uh, vertical alignment to be center so, so that this row should be aligned center i'll go to vertical alignment you have a start center and stretch i'll say center you see it moves center similarly you can play with the horizontal alignment you can play with the pull to boundary you can select multiple rows so that was how the column fluid works let's move to the fixed sizes where we'll play more with the sizes so right now the vertical alignment is center i want the horizontal alignment to be center you see it moved to the center if i say to the end it moved to the end if i say spread it spread it if I say space, it gives a space around all the columns equally. If I say pull to boundary, it play with the margin, make it default. Now at a column level, we have an option of sizes. So if we are not defining the sizes at a uh, for a specific device, you can directly play with the default sizes. So if I say I want a size of four to my first column then i want four to the second column and i want four to the third column right so it gives us the style and i can make it default and make it default so it align with this and once i want to generate a code i click on this button it gives me the code i'll copy it I'll go to my VS code or a project, any project I'm working on and paste it. Now, if I come to my editor, I'll just paste this code that I have copied. You see the boxes are coming as it is. To get these boxes background and all, I have defined the CSS, but the alignment and everything is taken care by the, and the code that we have copied. Let's go to the builder back. I'll just copy and close. Now let's try to understand based on a real time scenario. So 
सो आई गो बैक एंड गिव यू अस इन आर यू अ प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट बेसिकली सो हेयर आई हैव गिवन अ टास्क टू क्रिएट अ साइन अप फॉर्म इन विच देर आर टोटल सिक्स फील्ड्स एंड सिक्स फील्ड्स आर अलाइन इन अ वे लाइक फर्स्ट रो टेक थ्री कॉलम देन नेक्स्ट रो टेक थ्री कॉलम ऑन अ डेस्क टॉप डिवाइसिस बट ऑन अ टैबलेट डिवाइसिस द लुक एंड फील्ड शुड बी इट शुड टेक टू कॉलम एंड ऑन अ मोबाइल डिवाइस इट शुड टेक वन कॉलम सो टू अचीव दिस सिनारियो वी हैव टू यूज द ले आउट बिल्डर नाउ क्विकली सो हेयर आई गो फर्स्ट I look into the desktop device and I need three columns, right? So what I'm gonna do? I'll add three columns. So three columns are already there. I'll open the first column. I say I need a device specific size. So I enable this button. It immediately gives us tablet, mobile option. I'll say the by default size should be always twelve, which is the default size on a larger screen. Larger is a desktop screen. Desktop is 12 divided by 3 is 4 so we'll say 4 on large medium is tablet so on tablet we need 2 so 12 divided by 2 is 6 and then on small it is 1 so 12 divided by 1 is 12 we'll keep it 12 and default size always should be similar to your small size if you are enabling a device specific then we'll copy this to every all the columns We'll enable it. We'll say the large one should be of four, medium should be of six, and size and small should be twelve. Size doesn't matter. Mostly, if you have enabled the device specific on, and then we'll say uh, device specific for the third column. We'll make it twelve. We'll make this as well twelve. I want this to be six. And this to be four. Now to test it, it is three column, and I'll make it tablet where it is two columns, and then it's wrapping, and on mobile it's stacking up. But in our scenario, there are total six columns, so let's add three more columns quickly, and set the same configuration. So the fourth column. I'll enable the uh, first. I'll set the size to twelve. Enable the device specific, and now I'll set the large to be of four, medium to be of six. Then I'll go and set the size twelve. Device specific, large to be of four column, tablet to be of six column, and size and small of twelve column. Default size to be of twelve column. Device specific six, uh, sorry, four and six. Now we are getting the look and feel. Still, the padding is not there. So if I select small around again, it is applying that padding. Or if you play around with the different padding, you say more padding medium. If around large, it takes large padding. So, but for our demo purpose, I'll keep it around small. And now our look and feel is ready. You see, two column and one column and three column. We'll click on generate code. Generate the code. We'll copy and close. Copy the code. We'll go to our editor, and here we're gonna paste it. So the default styling is wrapper. I have given the heading. Wrapper is just giving the border. I'll paste the code that we have copied. So it brings in here. Now. The task is the layout is automatically handled with this code. Now we need to replace the custom box with our code, which in our case is an input field. So I quickly say lightning type an input type equal to text and label is title. I'll close the tag. You see the title is coming. Then I'll replace it with first name, the second column. Then I replace it with last name. Then I replace it with age. Then I replace it with 
phone and I replace the last one with address. See how easy it is to build this. And now let's test the responsiveness. Right now it's on a desktop device. Let's reduce the screen size. I'll go to inspect. I'll move it to the right and I start squeezing it. You see immediately it become two column on a tablet size devices. If I go further higher, it become desktop. So it convert into three column. And if I go further down to a tablet or smaller screens, it become single column. You see it's stacking up so that's how you can use layout builder there will be some bugs uh, right now we are fixing it it's in an experimental stage right now and if you like this tool play around with it you can donate if you want something by clicking on this and that's pretty much about this tool i hope you like this tool thank you